Next problem. So next problem na tayo. The force system shown in the figure has a resultant of 200 pound pointing along y axis. Compute the value of F and theta required to give this resultant. So yung resultant natin is 200 pound. So positive kaya dyan sa pataas siya. So yung resultant. Tapos ang pinapahanap sa atin is yung force F. So ano na yung unknown na yung force saka yung theta. So meron tayong figure. So naglagay ako ng sign convention na. So ano lang yan? Uh, Cartesian plane. So dito, yung dito is positive, positive. Yung first, uh, first quadrant is positive, positive. Yung third quadrant, third quadrant is negative, negative. So ano lang yan? Ano lang yan is uh, Cartesian plane. So yung resultant, positive, 200. So pataas dito. Tapos ang hinahanap natin is F and theta. So solution. So kung ang resultant natin, uh, kung ang resultant natin is uh, along y, along positive y, so meaning, um, ang x component or rx, rx is equal to 0. Remember, rx is equal to summation of x. So, kumpitin natin yung x component ng mga force. So, remember, uh, ganyan yung orientation. So, automatic, yung x component is, so, positive f cos theta. So, positive f cos theta. Then, ito naman, yung, ano naman yung x component nito? Is, o, oh, ayan, ganyan yung orientation. So, automatic, uh, cos theta yan. So, 240 cos, 200, uh, 240 cos 30. Minus, so 500, so pointing negative direction, is equal to 0. So, itong side na to, yung side na yan, is the summation of x. While itong right side, yung right side is resultant. So, equal yan sa 0. Kasi yung resultant natin is along y lang. So, uh, equate natin in terms of cos theta. Ganto. So, f cos theta. So, transfer natin yung ibang value sa right side. So, mag-change ng sign. So, 500 minus 240 cos 30. So, ito na yung equation 1. So, kung, mapap uh, kung mapapansin nyo sa equation 1, meron tayong dalawang unknowns. So, ito, F, saka yung angle. So, ibig sabihin yan, sa rules of mathematics, kung meron tayong two unknowns, kailangan natin ng uh, two equation. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kakailanganin pa natin yung component y. So, component y is equal to, ry is equal to summation of y component. So, equals yan yung sa r. Yung resultant natin is along y lang, kaya yung ry is r na yun. So, equating uh, y component, so f, so, ganyan yung orientation. Bale, experience na yan. So, kung, uh, kung experience na kayo, pag ganyan orientation, yung y component is f sine theta. So, positive. Minus, oh, going down. Ganyan, going down. So, negative 240. 240 pounds sine 30 is equal to uh, 200 pound. So, ito yung, yung left side is the summation of uh, y component ng mga force. So, is equal to 200. Kasi yung resultant natin is, uh, yung ry is, yun na yung uh, resultant. So, equating, equate natin sa in terms of sine theta. So, f sine theta is equal to 200 plus 240 sin 30. Yan na yung equation 2. So, 2 unknowns, 2 equation. So, for angle of theta, angle of theta, so, focus tayo dito. Angle of theta, 
So, ito yung y component. So, ito yung uh, angle, opposite side, and hypotenuse. So, tan theta is equal to, so, towa, opposite side over the adjacent. So, opposite side. So, yung opposite side natin ito is uh, f sin theta. Yung adjacent is f cos theta. So, opposite, opposite side over the adjacent. So, towa. So, tan theta is equal to f sin theta over f cos theta. So, theta now will be uh, tan raised to negative 1. So, f sin theta is equal to 320 320 pound over the 292.15 pound. So, theta, pag in-input mo sa calculator, is equal to uh, theta is equal to 47.6 So, min, meron ka ng theta. So, yung theta na yan, pwede, pwede mong i-substitute dito sa equation 2. Pwede rin sa equation 1. So, paras lang yung value nyan. So, ginamit ko yung equation 1. So, f cos theta is equal to 292.15 pounds. So, ibaba natin yung cos theta. So, in, equate natin in terms of f. So, f is equal to 292.15 pounds over the cos 47.6. So, ang result, force is equal to 433.31 uh, at 433.3 pound. So ganyan tayo magkuha ng ng force. Pag force yung hinahanap, uh, kunin natin yung x and y component. So ganun lang.